What's up guys, we are back with more Max Payne. We are about to get on the Sharon. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sharon. Sharon. Oh, already dead. Great start. Alright. Gonna bust out this snapper rifle. Okay. We had some shake, we need some pentazamine. Uh, close quarter combat, I really like using the Ingrams. Let's stick with those. Yeah, they seem to really mow them down quick. That felt really good. Uh, where's the phone? Is it on the wall? Where's the phone? I can hear it. Is this it? Okay. I'm Angelo Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie, tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game, but when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet, preferably into a grave. Let's just drive this ship somewhere. Can just go anywhere, Max. Just put it on autopilot and we'll we'll go to Belize. I don't care. We can do anything. Alright. And now we're gonna kill them on the way out, too. What the hell? <laughs> just. Just a random exclamation. Alright, uh, we'll see. We can find the source of that. What the hell? Or maybe not? Wait, was that Boris? Did I just... I mean, it sounded like I... From what he said to Punchinello. Let me just take one more look back here. Oh. Okay. So, this is supposed to be Boris. I, I assume. This doesn't do anything. Oh. Oh, why would you throw a grenade? That man just killed himself. I mean, I shot him first, but... Man, these guys could learn a little thing or two about some combat tactics. Boss fight? Yes. I'm just gonna see what okay. Oh, he shot me right in the face. Okay. Okay, already dead. Alright, let's uh, let's try out the sniper rifle. Down the devil the dime sent you. Sniper rifle is a pretty good strategy here. Just blow him with the bullets. Right, he's also standing right next to you. I did the trick. Should not have used that painkiller, that was a waste. Whatever. Some grenades. Some whiskey. What kind of whiskey are we talking here? Is this that ape stuff? No. Nope, just textured. You know how to handle yourself. Anybody nice. who says different is calling me a liar. Glad Jesus to be Christ. Here. Collect all the guns and ammo you want. Meet me on the bridge afterwards. All right, got the cool commander. The 
Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big-time gangster act, don't you? Chapter 4, Put Up My Flames with Gasoline. Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. Alright, this looks like a nightmare. Oh, that's because... Oh, I'm burning. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Uh. Keep running. Just keep on running. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a little pathway I got there. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, go, 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 go. Back here. I can't see anything. Uh okay. Right here. Oh. Okay. Nope, nope. That's on fire. Okay. This way. right in the face. Okay. No pain, no gain. Okay, so we have to go forward. Oh. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that being right in the crotch. Flying gas canister. Reflexes, Max. This is a huge restaurant, by the way. When Chinello was burning to get me, the feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. Monsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. He destroyed his whole restaurant just to kill one guy. I guess Max was very much right. When you get someone angry, they make dumb mistakes. Like a poor business decision to 
destroy your own restaurant. Oh, you trying to use my tricks on me? It's not gonna work, my friend. Stop, stop, don't fall, don't fall off the edge. Oh, God. Alright. Oh. I saw that in the sign out there, but I don't think I know what antipasti... Oh, come on. Uh, antipasti is? I don't know what that means. I think it's the opposite of pasta, but it could be, maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know much about Italian food. Alright, so the sewers here. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. Vlad well, kind of looks like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Maybe it's just me, but... Angel of Death. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinella wanted pain. He'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. Probably. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Spoiler Upstairs, alert. the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. Uh, spoiler alerts. Contrary to what Max says, someone will be walking out of this building alive. Uh, and you will know that because there are two sequels to this game. And that is all I will say. Oh! Wasted all my Colt Commando ammo. I've been wasted. Killed a lot of people. Afraid of murdered a lot of people. Oh. Jeez. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's try, let's use the pump action. Oh. Not a real good sign. My health is that low. Only wine look, work like painkillers, it should.
Someone will be on the other side of this door. My prediction. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. Boom. Okay, that's where I came from. This is great music, by the way. That was like a Red Dead Redemption situation there. Didn't stand a chance. Okay, uh, grenade. Seem, seem to be rather effective. Although he's a boss, so of course he's. Jesus. I'm gonna start throwing it as I'm opening the door. No, wrong side. Well, I'm gonna deal with the grenade now. Jesus Christ, okay. Start the grenade, aim up a little bit higher. Start throwing now. Oh! A little too early. Alright, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna snipe him. <laughs> Did not work as planned, okay. Alright. Grenade! Go! Got him. Damn it, okay. I'm gonna get it. Go! All right, so just just the, one of the trio guys left. I think I got him. Nope. Nope. There you go. Down for the count. One down, two to go. Hey. Those guys looked up to me, uh, and this is kind of a deep cut, kind of an embarrassing reference to make, but these guys in the coats look like the creepy guy who's trying to take pictures of the Spice Girls in Spice World, uh, and I would just leave it at that. Oh wait, I can't go past the piano without doing it. Alright. No more games. Serious business. Oh, there's another guy. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Those guys are part of the trio. Oh, we'll get him. Oh, that's an interesting place to take cover. Let's just pretend to be a vase. Can I break this? Damn right I can. Oh, now I just want to shoot everything. the wall. No. Team kill. Oh, okay.
Do this, lads. This is literally the exact same thing I did the first time. Okay. Oh. Come on. All right. See if I can snipe him from over here. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher. Now he's, uh, I got nothing. Just trying to think of something clever. I got nothing there. All right. This is a lovely home, I will say. A little empty, but otherwise immaculately decorated. How are you already reloading while I'm walking through the door? Oh well, either way, I better hit It was too late for her. Aww. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed got me thinking about a fallen cradle. I can't remember if there's going to be any other Valkyr trip nightmare sequences in this game. I don't remember if there's more than one. Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Woden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more the merrier. End of the road, hey. Vince Mignano. Three up, three down. Chinello's trio was done for. Outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. <laughs> he should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. That's like Michael no, Sarah. Wait. No, never mind. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him not to. Oh. Men do not work for the Punchinello family. 
Uh, I think it's this one. Alright. <laughs> Watch these guys in their little no, synchronized run. Commando is it called? Yeah. Drop it. Don't oh. move. Game over, Max Payne. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble in dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, ah. it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah. You were fresh out of cash. Seems I spoke too soon about that Valkyrie trip sequence. Part 3, A Bit Closer to Heaven. Alright, I think we're going to call it there, guys. We'll be back with more Max Payne. Gentlemen, we're done.